Hi, Victoria Nice here, and this is my new After Effects script, Layer Selector Toolbar. It's compatible with CS4 and up, and it does pretty much exactly what it says on the tin. It's a toolbar that hangs out next to your timeline and selects layers by property. There are actually two possible ways to install it, either as a vertical docked panel or a floating horizontal window. The first step for both is to unzip your download and find the file layerselectortoolbar.jsxbin. For the standard vertical layout, copy that file into the After Effects Script UI Panels folder. When you restart After Effects, you'll find Layer Selector Toolbar waiting for you at the bottom of the Window menu. Simply dock the toolbar next to your timeline, and you're ready to go. The other option is to run the script directly from the Main Scripts folder, or from File, Run Script File. If you launch it this way, it'll float as a horizontal set of buttons that can live anywhere on the screen, but it can't be docked. Whichever way you go is up to you, but now that we're up and running, here's how you actually use the thing. Simply select the comp you're working on, then click a button on the toolbar to select layers by type. You can also shift click to select their inverse. This first button selects all the layers active at the current time, including audio. This one selects all the layers that are active across your entire work area. Now, there are a couple special cases to watch out for. Locked layers, shy layers, and soloed layers. Let's start with the easiest of the three. Locked layers are always ignored. Always. Everything else I say, if a layer's locked, it's not getting selected. Shy layers are selected even if they're hidden, but unhiding them will deselect them, even though your other layers will stay selected. It's just a weird quirk of After Effects, but heads up. The only confusing bit is what happens if you're using solo switches. In general, Layer Selector Toolbar treats everything not soloed as inactive. However, if a layer is still affecting the look of the comp, even if you don't have its solo switch enabled, like say it's a camera or a light, After Effects considers it active too, so the toolbar buttons select active layers will select it as well. The rest of the buttons select by layer type, and will grab everything with a particular property, inactive layers as well as active ones. You have 3D layers, including per character 3D text layers, adjustment layers, cameras, guides, nulls, pre-comps, layers that have sound, even if their audio is disabled, text, and shape layers. And again, you can shift-click any of the buttons to select everything that doesn't have a particular property. Layer Selector Toolbar is available now at aescripts.com. Go check it out.